Hello, my name is Christine Throne and I am running for the Office of Delegate to the General Assembly for Legislative District 15. This district comprises the western part of Montgomery County, a lovely district made up of apartments, homes, and farms. Regardless of the types of homes we live in, we are all Montgomery County residents sharing the same rich resources of the county and state. I have loved living in Maryland for the last 30 years. I've raised my children here and have taken advantage of the amenities our taxes provide. We have gorgeous parks, trails of all kinds winding through the county, fantastic libraries and nature centers. In just a few minutes, I can get on the Mark train and be at Union Station in less than an hour. We are close to so many historical sites, including Fort McHenry and Antietam Battlefield. I'm grateful for these amenities. Additionally, our geography provides for some year-round enjoyment. We have our fabulous Ocean City beaches, local farms for hay rides and pumpkin picking, and nearby mountains for snowboarding and skiing. And what is lovelier in the spring than delicate pink cherry blossoms? So why am I running for office? Well, I have seen changes over the years, and I could be tempted to think that these changes just happen, but that's not really the case. Tornadoes and floods just happen, but traffic that you spend hours sitting into to get to your job doesn't just happen. Businesses leaving the state, gasoline and grocery prices increasing at the rates they're increasing, having to buy bags for your grocery doesn't just happen. Getting tickets from speed cameras and portable classrooms at schools, they don't just happen. These things are caused by the decisions of people elected to office. These decisions and many others are, in my estimation, making it harder for regular people to live. Regular people like you and me who drive to work, take care of our families, and seek to have a rich quality of life. Since 2007, when Governor O'Malley took office, our state budget has increased 37 percent. 37 percent! The money to fund these new expenditures comes from you and me, the people of the state. We get speed cameras, bag taxes, rain taxes. Per capita, Maryland has the fourth highest taxes in the nation. That's why, since 2007, the average household has had an increase in taxes of $4,000, and even this does not cover it. Since the budget must be balanced, they find clever ways to do this, such as robbing the Transportation Fund of $700 million and the Bay Cleanup Fund of $135 million. This isn't right. Further, after dipping into the pension funds, Maryland now has a nearly $41 billion in fund unfunded liabilities in pensions and retiree health care. We have to set spending priorities as any family must. Some things are necessary, schools, roads, and public safety, and some things are not. I understand the difference. And then we have to attract jobs and not tax, tax them away. Our corporate tax rate is 8.25%. Virginia's is 6%. Is it any wonder that Hilton, Volkswagen, and Northrop Grumman chose Virginia for their corporate moves? And many other companies have left. Some estimates of 6,500 small businesses since 2007. Even McCormick Spices, a company here for 125 years employing hundreds of people, is considering a move. The reasons are all the same taxes, regulations, licensing, environmental, and zoning. And think of what this means for the people employed at these places. Sometimes it's the loss of their home and the relocation of their children who might be doing well. Maryland is ranked among the least friendly places to do business in the country, and it doesn't have to be this way. Education must be a priority. Our schools, good as they might be, continue to fail in ranking on global assessments. Although we spend top dollar to educate our students, we have fallen to 17th of 34 in the OECD countries tested. That's not good enough for me in a globally competitive job market. And I wish I had more time to talk about the environment. But the money that supports the projects diminishes as our tax base moves from the states. Please vote for me on November 4th to bring some common sense ideas to the General Assembly so that you and your families can afford to stay in Maryland and enjoy all our state has to offer. And please check out christineformd.com. Thank you.